story you think can't happen in your community. An Indiana man accused of attacking a stranger for no other reason than the color of her skin. A self-described white supremacist is accused of striking an 18-year-old Chinese exchange student in the back with a hatchet. Police say when they questioned 59-year-old Dana Erickson about the attack, he called it ethnic cleansing. You saw the story's breaking news last night at 11. Tonight, RTV6's Derek Thomas has new details about this case from investigators and a witness. The victim was taking pictures for a photography class project here at the corner of Van Buren and Gould Streets. That's when the suspect launched an unprovoked attack. Police say Erickson used a hatchet with a blade believed to be about four inches wide and six inches long to strike the girl who is known to her classmates at school as simply Z. The hatchet wound was to the victim's torso and was very close to her spinal column. Tina Hunt saw some of what happened from inside her store, which is right across the street. He was standing there doing this and acting crazy and waving his arms, and I knew he, he had hurt her. I didn't actually see him do it, but like I said, she was on the ground bending over and crying. Erickson told police he was attempting to perpetrate ethnic cleansing. The victim told police as she made her way up the street, she heard someone yell, I am going to kill you. Then she felt something in her back. Police asked Erickson if he knew Z was Asian when he saw her, and he said, absolutely, I hate him. The attack and that explanation stunned Z's classmates at Brown County High School. Well, it's crazy because I was talking to her in the class before seventh period when she has her photo class. And in a town like Nashville, it's nothing you would expect. I am actually very shocked by it. She's one of the nicest people I know. Um, very unexpected, for sure. The victim was treated and released from Columbus Regional Hospital. The superintendent said what happened is unacceptable. Z's one of our kids. And... Uh, you know, this kind of attack uh, is an attack on all of our boys and girls, and, and uh, uh, so our kids are, you know, obviously concerned about it. The superintendent said Z was very concerned that she missed a chemistry test today. He told her, don't worry about that. Just concentrate on getting well. In Nashville, Derek Thomas. RTV6. Standing behind her. We like that. Preliminary charges against Erickson are attempted murder and aggravated battery. Formal charges are expected to be filed next week. As for the victim, the superintendent tells us she may return to school on Monday or Tuesday. A Speedway Reserve.